I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and happy Thursday. I'm Cayetano Ortega. And I'm Reagan Beach. Drama students, your jacket and shirt money is due this Friday, so get it into Miss Rollerson. Key Club has elected its officers for the 2016 and 2017 school year. President is Carlin Daniel. Vice President is Brooke O'Hagan. Secretary is Shaitiria Ash. Treasurer is Vanessa Trejo. Editor is Marcelia Busio. Projects lead is Trevor Brady. And fundraising lead is Marais Belts. Congratulations, everyone. Tuesday's swimming meet was a su success. Several swimmers had personal bests and rocked it in the pool. Alyssa Howard came in first place in the 200 freestyle, and Skylar Casey and broke the six-minute mark on his 500 freestyle. Good job, Brahmin swimmers. There's another swimming meet tonight, and the boys' golf team will also be competing. Pick one and go support a Brahmin. Today we have two birthdays. Happy birthday, Parker Choate and Matthew Belcher. See you tomorrow, guys. That's all for today. Good Thursday morning, OHS. We're looking, we got two days left. We got to push through. Persevere. Persevere. Okay, <laughs> persevere. But we're on integrity this week. Oh, okay. So you got to have integrity. Yeah, you got to have integrity in your work. You got to stay focused. You got to push through. You got two weeks left of this nine weeks, two, maybe a little bit more. Um, but you really want to push through. You want to focus on those zeros. You want to do what you can do. To get those caught back up okay nobody wants to put up a bad first nine weeks and you're digging yourself out of a hole some of you guys that are playing with gpa you want to make sure you got an a or a b coming out of this first nine weeks so then you can pull an a or a b because you've already built those habits taking that into the second nine weeks and then you can post a's and b's in that semester and that's really what makes that gpa take off thought for you is in a world full of people who couldn't care less be someone who couldn't care more okay Live with passion about moving forward, about being great. Don't ever let somebody tell you you're not worth the time and effort that you're putting into yourself right now. And if you're not putting time and effort into yourself right now, my question is why not? Because you're worth it. You don't want to waste that time. Okay? On a note, I'm not going to do a whole lot of preaching because that's just not me. I'm, I'm one to just tell you to live the right way and go about your business. If you're going to act like an idiot, well, that's on you. I mean, again, you're close enough to being an adult now that you've got to start making good decisions. So if you have a friend that is getting out into some silliness, make sure you try to rein them in. I mean, we have to help other people sometimes kind of keep everything under control. Um, you also need to know that if I get, if I start getting a lot of people that start racking up some felony charges by things they're doing across the street, I'm going to move you to OAA because I'm going to say, especially if you're a fighter, you're in part of this crew now that wants to run around fighting everybody, sooner or later, especially you 18-year-olds, you got to be real careful because when you're hitting and kicking other people, you're 18 and you're hitting and kicking 15-year-olds. And then you have your buddy who's your friend that's videotaping it, okay? So just make sure you make really good decisions because if that proof is out there, sooner or later it's going to be posted. And those could be felony charges, okay? And, and I am not keeping you on this campus if you're not safe for this campus. And if you're going to go around hitting 15 or 16-year-olds, you I will say you're not safe for this campus and I'll move you to OAA. Or I'll make an attempt to move you to OAA, okay? So 
again, Brahmins, you have to have a little bit higher expectations for yourself than to follow the normal crowd. Set yourself apart. Lead. Lead. And if you have a donkey that's leading you to nowhere, wow. Um, I just don't understand it. But, but that's just me. So move forward and be great. Thank you for guys again for the teachers and the students that are really using these Chromebooks as a resource. Hopefully you see now that it's not a babysitter. It is a useful tool that these teachers are going to get better at, you are going to get better at, and my bet is it's going to enhance the academic work that you're putting out and it's going to get you the scores you need on the state requirements. It's going to get you the scores you need to get into college. It's going to get you your certifications in CTE. It's going to help you with your dual enrollment. It's going to do everything it needs to do to move you forward if you use it the right way. So my simple challenge is just allow it to do it. Allow it to help you move forward. And again, that's, I, I, I repeat myself so much, but I just care that much. I could not care more for you guys. I'm not gonna, nobody's gonna be able to say I care less, okay? So, what you got? I wanna give a huge shout out to all 150 supporters, or 150 plus supporters who came out to support our cross country team. Um, on Tuesday night at the Golden nice. Corral, um, the workers there said that they have never seen a celebrity server event so large. The section was completely filled and had an overflow section. So congratulations to the hard work <laughs> that you young men and women put in that night. Um, on Thursday today, we have a home JV football game on campus tonight beginning at six o'clock against South Fork so good luck to our JV athletes and we also have a swim meet today yes. is that correct mm -hmm. yes and and hot dog and banana apparently they run their cross country runners when swimmers swim so I think maybe they should find someone else to loan those sacred costumes oh. to for the evening so they could make it to um, you know, a swim event because, you know, I'm sure someone else would be glad to step in and play the role of hot dog and banana for an evening. So, She's calling yeah, you out. I'm telling you, somebody's going to step up and say, let me be that person because, you know, we should support all of our sports. I got a thought. And they would love Why to couldn't you two be the hot dog and the banana? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to answer that question. <laughs> that is just uh, today, doesn't uh, it? Uh, <laughs> I get to wear a pug mask. And you guys don't have to dress up. <laughs> it should be two to nothing right now. Two to nothing. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Let's change the subject. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's. Um, IRSC will once again be in the cafeteria today during lunchtime. Now, here's the deal. If you have dual enrollment classes and you have questions, then go and see them. But if you are entertaining the idea that you might want to start taking some dual enrollment, student success, anything else next semester, Go ahead and get over there at that table and get those ladies to answer your questions. What do you need for your per? What, what tests do you have to take? What do you do to get enrolled? All those questions and take care of them now so that when it comes time to get registered for spring, you've got all your ducks in a row and can get into those classes. So go see them. Um, they're there to answer your questions and take care of anything you need in regards to the IRSC programs. Good. Yeah. Are we it's good? Thursday already. Yeah. Thursday. It's Thursday. Now tomorrow, <laughs> a little different. Tomorrow we are going to run a regular schedule. Now people are saying, why, Mr. Tedders, are we running a regular schedule? Does that mean we're not having a pep rally? No. We're having a pep rally. We're going to run a regular schedule because we also have the college fair scheduled that day. The juniors and seniors will be breaking up kind of like we did for career fair. We'll call you by your last name, A through L or M through Z, and that would be last name. And we'll call you down to the gym so you can check out. There's like 33 colleges going to be here. Um, and we'll do that between probably nine and lunch. And then, so that day, during seventh hour, you will still go back to your seventh hour class. You'll turn in your Chromebooks like you normally do. And then we will start calling you out of your seventh hour, okay? So we will not have a pep rally schedule on Friday. We will have a regular bell schedule. 
and the, the seventh hour teachers, I, I know I understand the concern. You're going to miss the majority of the class that day, but there are other days later on that we've historically taken in the past that we are getting creative with scheduling, so you'll, we'll make that day back up for you. So move forward, be great, looking forward to it, looking forward to see our football team get back on it and just bury a team Friday night. That's what I'm looking forward to, take out some frustrations, um, and it'll be a beautiful thing. Move forward and be great.